One, two, is this on? <laughs> Yo, Jimmy hit me with that triple H. <laughs> yeah, you let the music keep playing, Mr. Thorne. Yo, tell me who's time it is now. Hello and welcome to Console Shock Retro and Modern Gaming. Trev and as usual, Stu. Hi Trev, how are you doing? Yeah, not bad, not bad, mate. How are you doing? Oh, I'm, I'm doing really well, doing really well. Yeah, just just been out for a run, got back. I thought let's podcast. Stop pretending that you exercise. Stop making everybody feel bad. Just went to yeah. the gym, pumped some iron, had a few protein shakes. And I came, I, just, I didn't play I any stupid out. games I, like I Weaklings. Did Man. Just did an Iron Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did the Three Peaks uh, Challenge, the three, the three the three, Mountains in the UK. Just did that yeah. this week. And uh, yeah, trying to play too many video games because like Weaklings and the Nerds. People live in yeah, their exactly. do that. Exactly. So I just did manly oh, stuff. Like... Drank some beer. Drank ogled, some beer. heckled women and watched yeah. uh, sports, sports ball at home. <laughs> sports ball. That's what real pe- people do. So, exactly. Yeah. Real men. But you did go for a run, I, you know, I take it. Sorry, sorry, I did, sorry yeah. about cr- crapping all over your No, no, it's your, okay. Your no, I went for a run. Nice run. Enjoyed it. Um, it's good on these nice summer evenings. It is, isn't it? Mm. But we don't want to do that. We want to stay indoors and just play games. Exactly. exactly. I, wa- I was thinking while I was running around, oh, God, I could be at home playing Diablo 4. I mean, that's what I—that's that, yeah. I was thinking. Diabolical about. 4, whatever it's Diab- called. Yeah. Yeah, diabolical. Diabetes 4. Uh, yeah, but you like the, di- the Diablo, di- 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 yeah, diabolical games. You like those? Oh, I've I never played it. them. Have you not? No. no. I think oh, I probably yeah. like them. They do look like something I'd enjoy. Um, I, I, I think they're really good. I, I enjoy them. I got it on my Facebook actually a little while ago or last week that I put a post on this and oh, I've just completed Diablo three, and that was eleven years ago, Holy and now they're balls. just bringing out a Diablo four. That's good timing. It's like the other week when I said I just finished uh, Breath of the Wild, and uh, they just brought out the new one, which I haven't got yet, but I'll get around to it. They're waiting point. for you to finish. Yeah, and they, they weren't were, going to bring it out until you finished it, until Trev finished it. I might try and piss off Nintendo and just sort of run it in, like you know, on like on, on my PC. Oh, you know, no, whoa, whoa, whoa! Put mods in it and everything, so I can play as like Randy Savage in it or something. <laughs> you know, I'm sure someone's figured that out at this point. Yeah, or Sonic yeah. the Hedgehog. Um, so yeah, um, yeah, I'm going to get around to it at some point. I think I, I sort of, I think I've already said it, but yeah, that, I mean, it took me about 50 hours to complete Breath of the Wild, uh, mm. and I'm not really in the mood for a big 50 hour thing. I mean, that wasn't like it, obviously 50 hours, just me sat there for 50 hours. It was literally in, in over the course of about a year, probably mm. not about a year, probably about six months when I really like tried to do it. Um, I, I, maybe I'll be a bit quicker at um, the new one because I kind of, you know, I've probably I think people are saying it's, it's bigger. Oh, God, Everyone's really? saying, "Oh my God, oh the new the new Zelda game um, is is absolutely oh it's hu- oh so much bigger than the old one." But the old one was <laughs> the old one was absolutely yeah. huge, and and this one is I, I think it's got an underworld and overworld. You know, you can just wander free. It's got everything underground, overground, wandering, wandering free. free. Yeah. yeah, um, yeah, it's yeah. I'm just not. I mean, the, like, I know it's an RPG, so they they're always going to be a bit on the on on the longer side, yeah. aren't they? But you can eat. But this game's like you know, I really enjoyed Oblivion and Skyrim, and and to be honest, I'm mostly focused on just them. If you just focus on the main story, you can do both of them in like under ten hours. Oh, um, really? I guess that kind of defeats the point of an RPG, though. Really, I know you've got there's like tons of side quests, and you can pad it out to so you can play in it. You can kind of permanently play it, really. Um, yeah, that's yeah. what I, I like about uh, Diablo is it's just going around and, and not really following the story and just finding an, a little dungeon or you know going around and sort of you know grinding up my character, finding you know better things, and then doing a bit of the story. But um, from that point of view, it, it, it is good, but. Uh, it seems to be a little bit harder than the third one, in my opinion. 
I think I played the first one briefly on the PS1. Oh, wow. Everyone tells me, oh, that version was crap. You've got the worst. Don't don't bother with that. Make sure you play like, on, the, on the PC or the Mac or something. But I haven't got around to trying it. But um, yeah, I think the mm. first one got a port to the to, to the to the PlayStation. Yeah, it did. Um, did. Yeah. When I when I had um, Play, uh, Play Nation games, I was thinking of the name of it then. Play Nation <laughs> games. A guy used to come and go. Like it, it was just for years to come in. Oh, Diablo come in on the on the PS One yet? No, <laughs> no, no, it hasn't. It's a random no. dude. Yeah, and he was just, he was, oh, I always want to play Diablo on, on the, and it was just like, it's like a thing he did. He just came in, oh, you got Diablo, and and then it, I always got the impression that if we did have Diablo, you would have And then that, it's, it's a that. game that's not particularly cheap. Yeah, it I think it's be, expensive. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah, yeah, we've got it, sixty five quid. And you've you go, got oh, no. <laughs> a bit much. No, I'll, I'll leave it, thanks. But you've asked me about it anyway. I'm I'm ranting now because we know. All old video games should be under ten pounds. Exactly. You know, Lakers v Celtics ten pounds. You know, yes. um, all the Mario classic Mario games ten pounds. Castlevania ten pounds. Contra mint, mint in the box. Mint in the mm. box. Ten ten pounds. Yeah, it's one of those uh, uh, slightly oddball releases on the old uh, PS One. So I don't think it probably sold a huge amount, uh, and probably I think it's more popular now than it was then. Yeah, it's fifty eight quid on CEX just for a boxed, yeah, a boxed level. I, I'm actually looking at it on, on on eBay, and there's loads of them for sale for about um, eighty quid mint. Yeah, yeah, six sixty seventy quid, and it's probably gone up a little bit because Diablo Falls um, come out. Yeah, but um, it, it gets a spike from that. Uh, yeah, no, of course, out. people want to come and go back and sort of play it again. But, I mean, talking about Oblivion, um, I don't know if I sort of mentioned... The but game we'll, or when we die? We, uh, when we die. Yeah. Um, so, <laughs> we last weekend, um, we went out and tidied up the garage. And looking in the box, I found a laptop. And it was Justine's, uh, my partner's old laptop. And it said, so I had to look at it. And it was like, oh you know it's got vista on it so i i got, I got the laptop and i course, I t- you know took it upstairs turned it on and it was um as you do yes yeah as you do and of course oh it's a bit slow isn't it oh it's, it's not great what, blah, blah, blah. uh adele it's a dell studio ah. so it, it wasn't Stu- sort of an Stu- int- studio <laughs> that's the Sorry, one i was doing i was doing Susudio by uh phil collins there for anybody not familiar yeah, yeah. but anyway go on Stu. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we got it, Trev. Yeah, good. Uh, good. <laughs> so anyway, so I got this laptop, and so I, I sat down and I bought myself a, a, a USB pen drive for it, and I bought myself a uh, an SSD, 128 gig SSD for about a tenner off uh, Amazon, and they both got delivered really quickly. So I, I basically installed those, worked out how to put on a fresh copy of Vista followed lots of tutorials so all week i've been sort of trying to set up this laptop so i've got it to the stage now where it's got an S- ssd in it it's got a new version of uh vista on there i've managed to activate it all and um so i went on to ebay and i thought oh you know pc games box pc games and i bought age of mythology on um for the pc and diablo no not diablo um Pro Oblivion. Evolution Soccer 3. Oh, okay. no. Actually, that's a good idea. Uh, anyway, so I brought... You should. Um, it was, that was the first, uh, that was the first Pro Evo. On the PC? That, the first Pro Evo on the PC was 3, yeah. Yeah, and it's Pro been on there ever since. Evo P C Can't be more than 50p or something. I'm sure you could probably get it from CEX, to be honest. It's, it's yeah. uh, just a straight-up port of the PS2 version, but you can, you know, you can up the, the the graphics... Um, and uh, I think there's mods. You can probably get mods for it. They'll put all the you know kits. They, what's difficult to find is a lot. Of, a lot of the mods for those, because um, people still make mods for the old Pro Evos. Um, mm. They often try and put the current kits in of this se- season. I actually want the kits of the, of the year that game came out, which maybe yeah. is weird. I don't really know, but I like to play as like you know those teams and those kits from that point in time, because um, that was what 2003 ish. So for me, that was like, you know, an era where, you know, I was about to hit my 20s and um, really into football. Well, I had been for a long time already by that point. But um, it was just, a, you know, it's, 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 it's nostalgic. It's, it's nostalgic. And um, mm. putting in this season's kits 
I'm like, well, I can just, you know, it's just FIFA, the current FIFA. Oh, so really just play the, the the latest one, might yeah, you? Yeah. So exactly. Uh, yeah. No. Ex- ex- exactly. So anyway, I've had I've had loads of fun. Um, you got Oblivion as well. Yeah. So it hasn't come yet, but I have ordered it. So where where, where did you get them? Did you just get them from eBay? Just or e- eBay, like two, three cool. quid each. Yeah. Um, and probably people are screaming at me, going, "Oh, you can download it or." Get it off this store, but oh hell no! Get a physical I, copy. Exactly, exactly. But I can't really seem to do. Um, what did I do? I downloaded. Uh, I said, "What what what browsers still work on on Vista?" And people said Opera. So I, I downloaded the um, the Opera, um, the startup. You know the, the 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 install file. Put it onto a pen drive. Put it onto the laptop. But it just wouldn't open. Is so it compatible I'm, with Vista. It, I don't, I don't, I, I don't know. I haven't really done too much research yeah. into it, but I thought I'll ask Trev. He'll know. He'll, he'll know got, what to do. Um, I've got an. Um, my girlfriend's sister just dumped a bunch of tech on us uh, mm. recently, basically because it's like, oh, Trevor likes computer. I'll give him loads of computer. Yeah. Um, and but one thing that was pretty cool actually is she had an old eighteen-inch. Um, I really doubt. Uh, hi, Sam. Uh, if you're listening, I really doubt you are. This is like the most unsound yeah. podcast ever. She's not into this stuff at all. But no. uh, she, uh, so she gave me her old laptop, and it's like an 18 inch um, Acer. And 18 inch is a really unusual size for a screen. I don't remember really seeing those back in the no. day. But this laptop's from about 2006 slash um, seven. Yeah. And um, yeah, I like. I thought that's cool. I like old laptops. I'm, I'll muck around on it. And yeah, I restored it. Found the old restored discs on on the I think the Internet Archive, so I was able to get it back to kind of where it would have been with all the mm. right drivers um, and everything, so all the sound and all the various MacGuffins that it has in it work. Um, and uh, I, I think I put I only, I only ended up putting a couple of games on it. Um, I think I put Pro Evo two thousand and eight, um, mm. which runs fairly well on it, and um, I can't remember what else, like uh, some other random game of the era. Um, but yeah, it's kind of a cool sort of little gaming laptop for sort of mid 2000s games anything after that obviously no obviously you can't do anything new but um what operating system that, have you got on there vista vista yeah 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 <laughs> I, 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 I really yeah, enjoyed the process of um of actually setting it all up and and, and things like that I, I thought that was quite good fun you can fall down uh with like things like drivers uh because yeah. there might be very specific uh, bits mm. of hardware in there, like the Bluetooth module, or there's uh, like the keyboard yeah. lighting, or something. That stuff won't just be built into Windows Vista. You would need to get. But normally, if you go on the Internet Archive, hopefully someone has uploaded like a disk image of the installed disk that came with the laptop. And in, in the case of yeah. this Acer, um, I, it did, and I was able to install, burn it to a disk, install it. And I'm guessing. But saying that though, um, I've got a couple more questions or, or one statement is actually because it's a Dell laptop. The webs, the Dell website still had all of the drivers on. Yeah, De- Dell are really good for that. So, yeah, yeah, and, and yeah. you know, ten out of ten for Dell. For you, you know, I, I imagine in ten years' time they'll they'll still be on there as well. And and you know, ha- credit to them for keeping those on there because I just sat down, you know, download all. Put them onto a pen drive, copy them over to the laptop, and then, and then I spent about you know twenty minutes unzipping them all, and you know no problems, and I managed to solve all of the conflicts that there was in the device manager to get going, and I thought that 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 was sort of really good. And um, the second point I was going to say, it's got three gig of RAM, and then so if I think a four gig set of RAM is is something like a tenner. But then to get an an eight gig set of RAM for the laptop, it's going to cost about sixty quid. I'm yeah, like, oh, you know, is it is it worth it? Is yeah. I mean, eight gig on, on a on a Vista laptop from two thousand and nine. You know, will that just be? Wow, well, that's kind of pointless, isn't it? I don't tend to um uh, be a big be big into vintage laptops, apart from if I get to just one handed to me on, on mm. the PC side. I've talked about loads of times about um, I love I really love vintage Macs and uh, I love power yeah. books, but mm. they're a bit easy to get up and running because the in, like the Mac OS install disk would, would have all the drivers for for any Mac uh, that they could be installed on uh, because mm. there's, only, there's only a finite set of computers it's designed to work on, so all hey, the drivers exactly. are on the disk. So you don't really have to worry about hunting down drivers. 
You just mm. install a clean install of the OS, and it'll and everything will just work. Um, especially mm. on like sort of late nineties, early two thousand sort of um, you know power power books. So those are I, I really enjoy using, especially the PowerBook G four. The Titanium is my favorite like Mac like ever. I've sort of talked about. I've got a few of those like li- li- lying around that I you know sometimes you know get out and there's I've got a bunch of games stored installed on them and a lot of the classic PC games. I actually play the Mac versions of those if I want to have a kind of an original version of playing them. Uh, like Quake, Doom, Secret of Monkey Island, SimCity, Lemmings, or um, all, all that stuff had Mac. Had, they had Mac versions back in the day. Weirdly, it feels like there was more Mac versions of things back then than there is now. Um, well, that um, goes on. I, I watched the I don't know the WDWC, WWF, com- CWDC, yeah. yeah, the Apple conference, and they were saying how they're going to make it a lot easier to um, to set up. Um, or to convert PC games over to the Mac, and I was like, "Oh, okay, well, that's quite exciting. That 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 could be good because, you know, I've I've got, I've got a, a MacBook Air and an M1, and I think it's a smashing computer. It's it's really good, and you know, I always take it away whenever I go on holiday. And so, from my point of view, it actually, if that, and I'm not looking to sort of play the latest games, but just to sort of you know take that with me and maybe play an older game and yeah i i I think that'd be absolutely awesome just use your steam deck for that Stu. i sold it oh i sold it didn't i you knew that trev you knew that yeah i was kind of making a joke but yeah you're right (laughs) um uh yeah you can it's great for that sort of stuff the trouble is they never have very good graphics cards but um, what, yeah. what I'm not clear on what it means in terms of they're going to make it easier. I mean, if it's like a thing like Proton on on Linux, which obviously we know is why the Steam Deck is so good, it basically mm. means Windows games can run on Linux without really well, they just run. They're not they're not ported. Mm. You're just running the Windows version on Linux, and it works well a lot of the time flawlessly. Mm. Um, if it's that, that's really amazing. If they could get like well, the Windows um, versions of games running, but I don't think I, it's I, that. It's something else. I, I don't quite know yet, and yeah. um, you, you know, I, di- I didn't buy the MacBook Air for gaming. It, 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 it's, it's, not, it's not really designed for that. Um, but you know, if it if it can do it, and you know, and then when I go away on holiday, I can do a little bit of gaming or something. I, I, I think that'd be brilliant, and uh, you know, I'm all for that. So um, I, I, th- yeah, I think it's a real sort of positive team. thing. Um, I mean, a lot of the time, one great thing actually about Steam, um, if you buy like a PC version of a game, a lot of the time you'll just get the Mac version as well. Like, oh, um, yeah, I mean, when I've there's been, I think the I didn't really try and download Steam on a Mac for a, for a long time, having already bought a ton of games on the PC. Then I sort of downloaded Steam on, on onto my Mac for some reason. I can't remember why I did it originally. Mm-hmm. Um, and um, a load of games that um, popped up in my library that worked on the Mac, like Tomb Raider 2013, Elite Dangerous, and a, a few others. And, they, and it said, oh, um, that you can use the Mac for, version of these. So I didn't have to pay pay separately. They just make them available. I don't know if that's in every case. Maybe some games force you to pay again for the Mac version. But a lot of the time, it seems you'll just be given the Mac version. On Steam. I think you, it's yeah. Really I, cool. for, for me, I've... Um... I, I downloaded Steam and I could just play no problem. Um, what was it? Counter Strike CS:GO. That that worked. It didn't really work very well on, on on my Mac, but you know you could download that and, and, and play it. it you weren't you were running around going boom headshot and, and all I was that going stuff. Boom headshot and then jumping up and down and spinning around. Jumping. But yeah, I, was, I wasn't really that that particularly good at it. But. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, so. we're we're in that category of boomers now, aren't we? We've aged into the boomer category. I, I, I think so. And online gaming is, is is something that's really sort of passed me by. But like, you, got, you got some of that online gaming there, and we're like <laughs> these old fogies jumping in and with really bad hand eye coordination, not being able to play the Fortnites and um, you know and all those other ones that can, the, the 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 Minecraft nights and all that stuff, the Ro- the Roblox. We don't know what any all these things are weird and strange to us and slightly scary. So yeah, really into the old man. Old man yells at cloud level now. We're gonna to stick to our good old good old Counter Strike and FIFA <laughs> and, and Call of Duty. Is that that's a boomer game? Is that a boomer game? It is, isn't it? I guess. I think so. Yeah. 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 
so yeah, you can play those Mac versions if you get them. So um, I, so I, I really tried to run any of those games on my Mac. Um, no, I, I, I mean, I, I wouldn't really um, at, the, at the moment, and hopefully things will get better, and 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 they'll, they'll port things over to it, but. It's I think a lot of the time I, I didn't bother because the controller support was NAF on Mac OS for a long time. Well, I think oh, now it? you can just plug in. I don't think it is anymore. I think now you can like quite easily sync an Xbox controller and a PS5 controller. I think they oh. work pretty easily now. But up until like a few yeah. years ago, you had to download all kinds of weird, janky third-party plugins. And you see that, that that's what I, I, yeah. I, I'm not interested in doing. And yeah. what, what I found is that with with, with the gaming. On um, on the Mac, the screen is you know it's, it's a brilliant screen, but it, it's designed for video editing, editing, and it's it's not designed for gaming. Well, it's so, ultra high resolution, isn't it? So the, yeah, yeah so you can't run a game resolution. That resolution. You know what was it? One hundred percent color gamut, whatever people say. It's, it's got all of the color gamuts, but it's got at least three out three of the gamuts. It's got at least three gamuts. Exactly, but it just hasn't got. Um, how do you put it? It, it? it won't do over, you know, 60 hertz. You won't be able and, to run so a game on. at the re- at the native resolution of the screen at a good frame rate. No, and sometimes not. games do run, but they're in sort of a window. Or you've so, got to like um, run them at like, you know, 720p. And that obviously has to be blown up to, to fit the screen, which is like mega pixel density. So it looks super soft and a bit, yeah. you know, a bit crap. Yeah. Um, so so, it looks great when you're just using, you know, browsing the web or just on, on you doing productivity everyday tasks. But games, yeah, don't always work um, too well. No, exactly. But I, ju- I just think if, if, I don't know, Apple did a, you know, cause it, it, they've all got a GPU in them. So they, they should be able to sort of, do, well, hopefully that's what they are doing with this, you, you know, easy way of converting software. Well, the so GPU it, is part of the processor the, uh, on a lot. It's an APU. Um, well, you can get mm. like um, the Mac Pro. You can put a dedicated. I think it has a dedicated graphics card, but they're like sort of seven grand. They're insanely expensive. Mm. Um, the other ones, you're you're always a bit limited. I, th- I think you can probably connect an ex- an, an, an eGPU um, and have an external one um, if you do really want to run games. No. To be honest, it was um, yeah. You're not going to do that when you've already no. spent. So in, in my eyes, like at my thing, um, I use a Mac for everything computing that isn't games. When I want to play a game, I'll whip out the Steam Deck or gaming laptop, gaming PC, whatever it is. That strictly, you know, will be in there. 100%, 100% Trev. And, you know, I, I just think if I had another sort of route for sort of gaming on, on a laptop, and it, I think it's got the power there because they did, what's it, Resident Evil, uh, The Village, um, that came out earlier on in the year. Yeah, and, and, uh, you know, I watched quite a lot, a few videos, and people said, "Oh, actually, yeah, this is really good. It performs, yeah, it performs really Death well. Stranding, it looks isn't good, it as well. and Death Stranding that's going to come out uh, for it. But you know, you can't have a you can't have a system and and you know that has sort of two top tier games a, a year come out for it. it it's got to have." you know, a little bit more support. And and I think the whole idea is if if this, no, I, I don't know the, the sort of the, the money behind this, but if it costs, you know, maybe a few thousand pounds to convert a, uh, to port a game to the Mac, then people do it, you know, without thinking. But if it costs, well, actually, or oh, they made it easy, but then it still costs hundreds of thousands of pounds, you know, will we, will, Will we get the money back from that for, to be for honest, doing it? I, I, I doubt the best, they will. Yeah, I doubt they will. I think the best solution is really a Proton layer type thing for the Mac where you just run the Windows version via mm. a, a compatibility layer and it runs mm. just as well as it would on Windows and you can't really notice. Um, well, that's what the they have, isn't it? What's it called? The uh, Oh, I can't remember. The, I was going to say Archimedes or something. Archimedes layer. It's when you... Do stuff that was designed for the old Intel. Oh yeah, that's 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 called um, Rosetta, but that's Rosetta. Not really, but but that yeah. isn't for like um, running Windows. That that's for running ga- uh, applications that are already for the Mac, um, that but were designed to run on Intel chips. Um, yeah, exactly. So that's yeah. still Mac Mac uh, software that just runs on Intel, but having it work on the on the Apple uh, chips. Mm. Um, so we've got yeah, it's similar. Uh, but you would need something else to be able to run actual I mean, God, you'd have to have, it'd probably be quite a difficult task because 
obviously PC games are designed to run on Windows and and x86 processors, mm. whereas the no, Mac exactly. have either of them now. Um, but it's got just like it was back in the day with Power PC. Uh, mm. Max had Power PC and uh, well, they had 68K before that, but Power PC and Mac OS. Um, then we had a, uh, an, an era where they had in, Intel, which was actually kind of cool because you could then dual boot a Mac into Windows if you wanted, and it would run Windows natively. And subsequently, you could just put games, install games in Windows on, mm. uh, on a Mac. But now that's kind of gone. Uh, you're, we're back to having um, you know slightly niche cpus which are very good by the way the apple a um the apple um what they're called the m1 yeah the m1 the m2 the m2 ultra max pro all of those they're really cool chips um and also their y max have great battery life and you know and all and great exactly they they've you you know you you look at the performance and you know I'm, i'm i'm really impressed with you know, the way my laptop sort of performs, but I think we've sort of moving on really. But um, I, th- I think one thing I, w- I wanted to talk about this week was, um, or, or this sort of fortnight is um, last week was the PlayStation, what was it called? Q. Showcase, the, the PlayStation Showcase, and they announced yes. the, the PlayStation Q. And um, I mean, I th- I thought it was amazing. But that's not the opinion that a lot of other people have. Are you, are you just, being serious? You thought no, that, you I, thought I, that was I, good. I, I was because you, you know, for me, it's um, <laughs> sometimes you, you you know to sit down in front of the TV and 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 to play a game. Well, actually, it it doesn't always work with your lifestyle because you know your your girlfriend, your wife might want to watch the TV. Or someone might want to play a different game on another system, or you just want to, you know, get away from things and and sort of play a game. And so I actually think I think it's a great idea. Well, I'm, I'm, do, I'm, I'm really impressed just, with it. You, you could just do do that on your Steam Deck. I don't have a Steam Deck, Trevor. Oh, I sorry, it. I keep forgetting. I keep forgetting. I sold sorry, it, Trevor. I sold I'm it. Sorry, I'm sorry. I, I keep forgetting. Oh, that's right. That's right. Don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> but you like it. You like you like yeah you, yeah I I I I th- I, th- I think it I think I think it's really good I thought you, you know I, I'm impressed with it so and you know lots of people are making the uh, link between that and oh you know you're turning your PlayStation Five into a Wii U and I actually really liked sort of you know laying you know laying in bed playing uh, a Wii U game in another room or you know on the sofa while my girlfriend was watching tv and, and for me I, I thought that was a really really good feature so i mean what, what's your thoughts on it trev um mixed but moan but leaning negative but it depends on what we don't really know how we it's going to do what it does yet really we know it's going to yeah. be streaming in some way if it, if it if it is like the wii u which was mm. absolutely flawless with the way it streamed the video of the game was, through the yeah. pad to the point where it felt just as responsive as playing it off the TV. And I played many hours on the game pad because it was it was great, and it really took us down the route we are in now to the uh, to you know yeah. to, to to the switch and mm. in a kind of in a way then like the Steam Deck and the Asus ROG Rog Ally and all that sort of stuff. Um, if if it's like that, where the PS5 has some kind of technology in it where it can beam directly to the PlayStation Q and you get a super stable, a seamless, lag-free um, way of playing um, your PS5 remotely, that is actually quite cool, but it has to be cheap enough. It can't be 300 quid, which I suspect yeah. it might be. It needs to be under 200 pounds to make it like just in. So it's in that realm of, yeah, a cool little accessory that a lot of people would like. I don't. I don't think it's going to be that that cheap though. Which will probably. I, 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 th- I think um, I, I like. I like to see yeah, two hundred pound. But yeah, but you, you know they're if, going to if, want if to have a good screen that. on it. They're going to want to have obviously the controller. Yeah, and when I, I don't can't imagine I have too much. You, you know, I think it expensive. has a place. It has a yeah. place if it does do that exact Wii U like functionality. But if it turns out all it's actually doing is you know the PS 5s talking to your internet. And then your PlayStation Q is talking to your internet and it's passing the video over your internet into your PlayStation Q, introducing all manner of issues that can arise through doing it that way. 
it's not mm. really any better than the solutions you've already got just to plug your phone into like a backbone i think was the accessory that got that came out it's like a playstation mm. sort of similar controller um it's, and it's just basically a glorified back backbone or you don't even need a you could just get any old you know pair of ps4 or ps5 pad to a phone go on the playstation app and you can just stream your ps5 that way he's not mm. really offering anything more than, than 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 those solutions which are a lot cheaper if it is just that and it needs the internet to do what it does it's pretty much a waste of time in my opinion i i, th- um, I think well, that's, that's a good point, actually, because I was going to say, yeah, well, surely, it, it, I think in, in the people talk, talking about it, the they were saying, well, actually, it's, it's going to have, it had to be connected, you know, to your Wi-Fi, so then it will be, so as soon as you're out of your range of your Wi-Fi... Or just the signal goes crap, but it's got too much loaded on the... Yeah, it, Netflix it, it, and stuff it, it, and like, exactly. Yeah. If someone else is watching Netflix and someone else is downloading something, and then it could just, you know... It'll make you know, the experience go to crap. Um, it, 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 exactly. Yeah. So um, I mean, it'd be interesting to see... Yeah, how, it, how how it works, and I think we need to. But let let's say, in my opinion, if it works, you, you know, as good as the, the Wii U, if not better, then I I, I think it, I think it's a, it's a good idea. Is it for everyone? No, it's probably not. But I I, I think I think it will do well, and you know, you can quote me on that in a year's time and go, "Oh, Stuart, you said that'll do well." Whoa. You know. <laughs> Oh yeah, we will. Believe me, Mark. Yeah, mark hold me word. to it. Mark my words. But yeah, if if it's literally like we've speculated, if it is works like the Wii U, and you get a seamless video stream to this pad tablet thing, um, controller, whatever you want to call it, um, then that I, I, then it has a little niche place. It won't mm. be for everybody. Um, it, no. and it has to be under two hundred pounds. If it's more than that, and at the end of the day, it's just really passing your PS5 through the internet and then landing it on this pad, then, yeah. it's, then it's no better than just using your phone and a controller to do that. Um, obviously, yeah. you'll be able to go on PlayStation Now and stream games on it as well, which will always be limited by the internet and everything. Um, I don't think it's just, I mean, there's some people saying, oh, it's just going to do that and nothing else. You might not be able to stream your, I'm pretty sure it is, able to, you can stream your PS5. But um, yeah, it really depends. I, I personally think there's no one's really asking for this. Um, oh, I, I don't think they were ever going to. Some people were saying, "Oh, it was going to be a new Vita or something." I don't think that was ever going to happen. I can't see them ever making a handheld. No, um, I, I'm, I'm, I'm not sure. That's the way things are going. I, I, I think the Switch has got that tied up. I think the, the Switch sort of got that, yeah. Yeah, the only competition is is, is going to come from you, you know the Steam Deck, the Rog Ally, that sort of family of uh, yeah. products. That, we that, that's that's gonna... We speculated before, like Xbox might produce something um, before we did. Mm. We saw a Steam Deck or anything. I think now they'll just lean on the PC handhelds. They'll just be like, "Oh, you want to play like Xbox games portably? Yeah, just grab um, Asus Rog Ally or whatever you know, whatever one they want to throw their weight behind." You could yeah. get Game Pass. You could play Forza, Forza Horizon. You know, um, the exactly. latest Years of War. It's, it's, PC it's, it's, it's done for them. Yeah, yeah. You've got all the same Xbox experience. You can achievements like on mm. Xbox Live. Um, you could play. You could do all of that on just just, just get a, whatever Windows ha- gaming handheld you want. Hopefully, Microsoft will make that streamlined Windows handheld gaming edition, which would make mm. it a lot more like a Steam Deck. And then you'll basically have a portable Xbox with the advantages of a PC. So I think they'll lean on yeah. that as opposed to making an actual, you know, squeezing a Series S into a handheld. I could be wrong. I think it'd be quite mm. cool if they did try and do that. But um, yeah, with the amount of PC and also like actually play Sony can do that, right? They've, they've Gears, um, God of War, t um, Uncharted, um, all, all, uh, Ratchet and Clank now. They're making mm. PC versions of those. So Hey, don't, forget, no. don't forget um, The Last of Us. T-Lu, T-Loop, sorry, T-Loop, because it's got part part at the end. Um, yeah, you can... So so if people are saying, Sony make PlayStation Vita 2, they'll be like, well, yeah, just get an Asus ROG ally, download the, the yeah. PlayStation games have made for the PC. There you go. There, there, there's your Vita 2. <laughs> so, um, so yeah. yeah, I think that they've kind of covered those bases, really. Um, by releasing the PC versions of games, and I mean, you could play Spider Man, you know, the, the PS4 game on, on the Steam Deck, and it runs great, you know, not so much mm. Tilo and um, 
and you know the, some of the more recent ones the aces i'm hoping the aces will be a bit better with that but um mm. yeah i don't think there's there's no chance either of them are going to make a handheld and like you say nintendo have got the dedicated handheld console mm. area they've just cleaned up completely that i don't think anybody could really step in now um which brings us to the future of the switch well that, that's that's it and we, we've been sort of uh, threatening to talk about this for sort of weeks and it always comes up in our sort of uh you know our, ch- our chats on whatsapp sort of prior yeah. to it but yes. I, I mean i think for the last three years you, you know the internet has been talking about oh you know there's going to be a new switch our oh, new switch new switch and then we had the you know what's it the switch light and then and then oh, there's gonna be a new switch so we got the switch oled and yeah, you know, I, I, I think uh, I mean people rave about the OLED and say, oh, it's a, it's an amazing screen, you know, better battery life. Um, but you know, from my point of view, is you know, I, I think now's the time for the Switch to get an upgrade. But it's it's got to be, you, you know, let, let's let's not re let's not rework the wheel. It's it's really got to be the same sort of piece of kit which performs very similarly he's got backwards compatibility and but just has a lot more power that that's what i, I i'd really like to see yeah I, th- I think um maybe we were hoping that the nintendo would come out with a switch around sort of um probably last year maybe we were hoping it, w- it would actually have come out you know last year maybe have been announced in 2021 but i think it's clear now that console generations aren't really that sort of nearly you know, no. um, ideal. Well, it's not, I don't know if it's actually ideal, but that solid five year cycle that we used to get going way back to, well, like the NES, you know, uh, the NES had a five year run, then there was a Super Nintendo. Obviously, they, they, they did go beyond that, but obviously, mm. that was when they went into the kind of the, the gaming console retirement era where they'd get, you know, a, a trickle of releases and then they would just stop. But about five years into the run, the, the successor would come out, uh, Super Nintendo, then five years into the run of that, um, you know, and N64, then GameCube, and it was kind of clockwork, but that's kind of broken now. When mm. we had the 360 and the PS3, they they were sort of seven, eight years old by the time we got the sort of sequels um, to those, and that's kind of where we are now. So it's actually probably not that weird um, that we've now had the Switch for um, basically six six years, going on seven years now. Yeah, um, March 2017, I think it actually came out, announced at the end of 2016. Um, so yeah, and obviously Nintendo have a weird track record. I mean, someone said, "Oh yeah, every other console they've released has been a failure," and um, that isn't the case. Um, no, the Super Nintendo was successful. Um, the N sixty four was mostly successful, but with yeah. a big drop. GameCube not not successful. Um, Wii successful. Wii U not successful. So it kind of it was up and down. I think is the best way to describe it. Exactly, but if if I imagine, you know, I, I'm in Nintendo's sort of marketing sort of team, and they're going well. Actually, I don't know what the sales figures are this month for um, consoles around the world, but you, you know, the Switch could still be number one. I think and it's outsold the PS4 now. Yeah, um, it's, it's exa- exactly. In lifetime so, sales, not like what, this what, month. What, what, lifetime sales. You, you know, if you if you have a shop and you you make cream cakes every day, and you make a thousand cream cakes, and every day you sell a thousand cream cakes, and you can make a very very good living, you're going to yeah. make cream cakes every day. Yeah. You're not going to come out and go, well, I'm going to make a cream cake with chocolate on, and you you know sprinkles on it, and then well, you you'll still be. Where, where you were so the fact is that people still want the original switch and that's that's what they're looking for so yeah i mean um you, th- th- there is a point of you know you could so say well they, they could just sit on it for as long as they want really it's still selling but ultimately you know the third party support will drop off because they just can't they won't they won't want to develop ports of their games um which they've been able to do fairly well up you know up until kind of now really mm. um of, of their other con- co- console games that will drop off and that will really start to affect things. But you also, you want to try and hit the ground running with a new console um, bef- uh, before you don't want to sort of wait until the other, co- your current console sales die completely. But then it's a new one. I'm, I'm looking at this here, Trev, and I, you know, I've done the quick Googles now um, last month in May, 2023, 
in Japan, they sold 345,000 Switch. That's insane, yeah. And and they sold 170, so twice as many Switch consoles in Japan. And I'm just like, what? That's that's amazing. I, I think it's, yeah, it is amazing. And it, it will continue to, to sell fairly well for the next couple of years, I would say. Um, but, yeah, I think it is important to consider the third-party support because up until now they've been able to do fairly you know good ports of uh ps4 and um and, X- and xbox one games i don't think they've really mm. attempted to port any any next gen exclusives uh but mm. they've been able to the P- the switch is just about in the realm of the ps4 and the xbox one that it could handle those with compromises um which has been great and has meant it's got this insane amount of third party support Mm. Um, and people have been, you know, there's a huge group of people. A lot of people just say, oh, people just get a Switch for, for Mario and Zelda. Um, they don't. There's plenty of people that just want to play Doom Eternal, you know, and uh, and, and third-party games that, that are in a handheld. That's a real unique mm. selling proposition. You know, okay, now yeah. we have Steam Deck and things, but, but up until then, it was the only way you could do it, uh, really, which was awesome. You know, better take handheld versions of those games. Uh, like, you know, there's also subsequently we've now got things like, you know, Assassin's Creed and other collections of games that were restricted to, you know, home consoles. You can now play it, play anywhere. Mm. Um, but like I said, the, the longer time goes on, then the further away it gets from the, the current gen, which it already is at that point. Uh, third parties won't want to try and shoehorn a game. And I think some of them just simply like, like the Dead Space remake or something or Callisto Protocol. I mean, they're not on the Switch. They probably never will, will be. But no, you, I don't you could you, you, no, you wouldn't be able to make a Switch version. No. You have to, it, would, it would fundamentally break the game to try and shoehorn it in there. So that will start to drop off. So they do need to introduce a follow-up that is closer to the PS5 and the Xbox series to be able to keep that third-party support and make mm. it easy. The third parties don't want to start making baby versions of games like they would for the 3DS. You know, you'd get like um, Ace Combat Assault Horizon for the Xbox 360 so for the 3DS, we're going to make Ace Combat Legacy or, you know, or something, which is actually a different game. Um, so they've got, you know, I think a lot of the time they would get, uh, they, would, they would subcontract it out, wouldn't they, to another studio to make a handheld version. They can't be mm. asked to do that sort of thing anymore. They're like, oh, you know what, let's just try and we can, let's just put our actual game on, on that handheld now because we can. It's powerful enough. Saves us, you know, yeah. like, faff around coming up with another game. Um, and they're used to that now. Um, so it needs to be within the realm of the PS5 and the series. I don't think it'll be, I think if it does, it should be announced this year, but I think power wise, it will probably be around a Steam Deck, I would say. Maybe a touch more, more powerful, but I don't think, I, I think, I think that's, that's where it's, it, it, it's, it's got to be because it, yeah, it's got a, minimum, it's got a price a point. Yeah. It, it's got, it's got a hit. It can't be, oh, let's make it the most powerful thing ever. And then it's seven hundred pounds. That won't that won't work. No, yeah, exactly. With yeah. With, yeah. with the Switch uh, yeah. demographic, the, you know, the Nintendo customers, it's got to be you know three hundred pounds max. Um, and you, you know, I think but what people are looking for, they're not looking for you, you know PS five gaming in in their hands. They're not looking for you know forty ninety. They just want a little bit of a. You, you, you know a steroid injection into it so you can play um you know they can bring out yeah Dead Space almost, remake yeah, and callisto yeah, Protocol it, 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 and, yeah exactly yeah. so and they're not going to be completely sort of nerfed versions yeah, yeah. of um games because i mean i mean i've you know we we're both big fans of sort of digital foundry and and they sometimes they do Oh my god! You know, here's here's a uh, a version of uh, something or other that's been ported to to the Switch, and oh my god, you've got to see these these textures, and it and it and it's it just looks awful. It's yeah, it, yeah, and they're just like oh god, they're okay, struggling but, big time now. Yeah, yeah, maybe games on there. And what was it? They reviewed a game, and they said on on the back, um, it was. Um, 20, it was called cinema mode, 24 frames a second. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and it, it was, was like, This, oh, this is a positive thing, it's got cinema mode. And I mean, well, no, you don't want cinema mode, that means 24 frames a second. You want 
60 frames a second mode. That's something that you should really sort of shout about. Yeah, I and, can't remember uh, the name of the game. It was like some I can't remember. adventure game, wasn't it? It was on PS4 and they've suddenly it's come out on the, the Switch. Yeah, ex- 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 exactly. Yeah, so yeah. I, I, was, I was a little bit like, oh, God, that's all. Oh. You know, they're really sort of clutching at straws, and then they're sort of racing games, and they were sort of pausing it. And you, you know, the almost the, the um, by the side of the road, the bushes just looked like sort of just like balls, really. Yeah, like trees with with like no like leaves on on them because you just you know they can't render them. You know, yeah. No, it, it, yeah. exactly. Or maybe you know when you're racing down that you, you know this country lane really quickly. Well, actually, you don't notice these things. So, oh yeah, great. That's not a problem then. Um, but, but but obviously that will get worse if they keep on if they keep exactly. on exactly. Uh, I mean, a lot of people will say, well, if it's just if it's just, if it's just as powerful as a Steam Deck, I mean, that can just about run Dead Space Remake and Callisto Protocol. Uh, but but mm. but the point is, um, you know, the the Switch will have a minimal like operating system. It'll be sort of yeah. you know, so you'll be able to sort of pr- program and 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 and. Um, the, the teams that port these games, they'll be able to really, you know, they know exactly what the spec of the Switch is so they can really make a mm. perfect, dedicated port of Dead Space Remake that will run on, on, on the Switch at the most maximum performance it can get, whereas uh, uh, running uh, the general Windows version of Dead Space on the Steam Deck. So maybe it'll be right, okay, maybe it won't. Uh, you don't have that gamble or that issue with a, a dedicated console port. So I think a hundred percent. Yeah, yeah you're, you're you're absolutely right. So, you know, I, I like to see it come out with, um, oh, what what's it is it Nvidia. Um, oh, what's the name of the processor of the of the switch? I can't oh, remember. Oh, the Tegra, yeah. Tegra, yeah. So like the latest, you know, Tegra processor. So it will still be able to sort of play the old games. So then it will just be sort of like an upgrade that that people will get. And but then actually, on the other hand, talking about the switch is, you, you know, we, we talked earlier in the podcast about Tears of the Kingdom. Now, at the end of the year, that's going to win all of the Game of the Year awards. That's going to win. That's going to be the best selling game of the year. It, it's it's going to get everything. OK. And so why on earth do they need to make a new machine when that game has come out and you you know doesn't look half as good as you know dead space but sold 50 times as many copies so yeah, the, the, what, what what's argument. it matter do, yeah. do you do you need a better processor let's keep the current switch for another five years yeah i mean there's i mean yeah i mean there's an argument there as well um mm. i mean i mean i think um the way it's interesting that you bring up like you know putting a, a processor in to make it backwards compatible i think uh, modern vintage gamer said like a lot of people are assuming that backwards compatibility. Will... Are you eating or something? I oh no! I... Sorry, I, I, I had a drink. <laughs> All I was, right. I'm having my um. I, I, I did my run, eating. didn't I? So All I'm. All right. Uh... Yeah, yeah. Sorry, sorry I, I didn't think you could hear that. Don't worry, people. Don't worry, people. He's not eating. Um, no. it's, it's all right. Um, no, sorry. Yeah, so a modern vintage gamer was saying um, that there might be some issues they, with you know backwards compatibility. Um, mm. Later generations of Nvidia's tech isn't necessarily built to support running of the old kind of code, mm. um, and this is this is probably the case with the Switch. So, I mean, I think that would be a bit of a disaster if they don't offer backwards compatibility with the the, the Switch too. I think it, I think it needs to be in there. But to, it might have to happen by putting the old um, hardware in the uh, switch. I'm not sure if that will be an issue with driving up the price, but I think it, it kind it, of has it, to happen. It might be, really, but I, I mean, it's. I, I think it needs to be there, and you got to yeah. think that over 130 million um, uh, switches were sold. So if you if you speak to <laughs> Nvidia and you say, well, you you know, we want to, we need a really powerful chip. That is going to push all these games. Oh, and it needs to be compatible. Can with... you make a switch system on a chip for us to put in the new switch? Yeah, a, 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 exactly. So, you, you know, he, he, here's what we want, and then you know we'll guarantee that you know we'll order a hundred million of these off you, and they'll go, yeah, yeah, we can make that work. That it's, you, you, you know, I mean, there are examples I, I just think of that. It's possible. Yeah, there, there are examples of that already. I mean, like, it doesn't mean Nintendo will, will want to do it, but 
Um, mm. You know, a quick example is like like the Playstations, like the PS2 had mm. a PS1 hardware inside it, so it made it mm. instantly backwards compatible. The PS3, the original fat PS3, the first iterations of it, yeah. had the graphic synthesizer and the emotion engine chips. Uh, there was a single chip that combined both of those. Uh, that was inside the PS3. Uh, they ultimately took it out because it was too expensive to keep adding that that chip in. Um, and they didn't think people, you know, used the backwards compatibility uh, in, enough to justify the cost. Um, yeah. um, so it's happened before, and that, but that's probably what Nintendo would end up having to do. And and uh, but yeah, apart from that, I mean, they, didn't, they wouldn't really need to have a huge. I think maybe have an OLED screen as by default. Um, it can stay twelve eighty by seven twenty. That's a perfect resolution for a handheld. Or yeah, I think. Um, and it'd be great if it was backwards compatible. If they did have a system on a chip for the original Switch in there, uh, you could run the old games. Uh, use the cartridges still, and not just digital versions only type thing, which they might try. Hopefully not. But um, it'll run them uh, better. Um, so I'm not saying you'll download a huge texture pack that will be better. It'll just run them at the like what like when you can run like a PS4 game on a PS5 and it'll run it. Uh, the frame rate will be a bit higher and you can have a boost. Exactly, mode yeah, just have more resources, yeah. won't it? But yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. I mean, what was it? The final thing I wanted to sort of bring up actually, and and you mentioned this in in our chat is is the Apple vision pro so i think you said a funny thing earlier well the switch has got to come out it's got to be 300 pound max right maybe i said that and then we talked about the panasonic uh oh sorry the panasonic q the playstation q you said 200 pounds max no one to pay more than that so the apple vision pro is three and a half thousand dollars um trevor you're gonna get one i think you need to get two really (laughs) Don't you? So, um, <laughs> yeah, it's going to be one yeah. for each eye, haven't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, a lot of people are like, like a really hot take to sort of start off a chat about it. Um, it's normal people. It's obviously it's not really going to be those people that this is this is aimed. Yeah. I think it's more of a business tool at the moment. I mean, I can see uses that I would use it for. I mean, watching films and even browsing the internet, just reading articles on the internet would be really mm. cool on it. Watching a video, it would be amazing. Um, obviously playing playing games i don't think that'd be a big focus because it's you know it's basically an apple product you know we've already talked about max and games um and i could see that being quite cool um but i think this is the first generation of it so it's a bit of there's going to be a bit of jank mainly the jank is in having a battery that sits in your back pocket i know that's kind of a necessity at this point but i think uh, that'll get better technology that will help probably integrate that into the headset so it doesn't add a lot of weight in the next few versions basically Mm. what i'm trying to get to is when it becomes a device that looks like a pair of glasses and you just place them on your face like a pair of glasses and it's very unobtrusive you don't look like a weirdo um Mm. you don't you you know um, you don't look like you're going to be doing like your solid snake um then um then it become, like, yeah yeah and 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 it's like under or like macho man randy savage it, it, and it will be under and it's under a grand then i think it'll become a, a, a it'll be a, a mainstream thing yeah uh, but the technology is really cool and looks awesome um but yeah three and a half grand i can't see many people going for it no i i think is it'll be one of those things that will be so it will sell very well in you know the california elite yeah, you know, yeah, pe- yeah. Pe- pe- people will all buy it and like, oh, you know, try this on. Oh, it's oh, it's really good and uh, huge rich Apple fans and like people. Yeah, on the, so you I, I, I think I think it will have a market. Yeah, but I I think their you, you know their their sales aspirations are going to be, you know, we want to sell half a million in the first calendar year. Yeah, yeah. You know, that 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 will be that that look really good if we sell half a million of of these items when they probably sell 400 million phones, you know, a quarter or a year or, or whatever. Yes, so com- it, yeah. it, they're not yeah. there. I don't the think they're making it. It won't, won't happen at all at that, at that price range. Yeah. Yeah. Then they're not making it to make money at the moment. Or for huge you know, volumes. Yeah. It, it, exactly. I, I, I think it's, they're going, oh, well, actually let, let, let's, let's see if we can be the first in let's, let's see if we can make this the future. And, you know, I, 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 I'm, I'm not a really a big fan of, of of VR, and I appreciate this isn't VR. 
it, it, it is it's, it's something or different reality but, type folk thing yeah yeah so part of me thinks oh god wearing a headset and i i i, I think if i was a a multi-millionaire um would, yeah, I mean, would I, I buy one maybe yeah. not I, I probably would if i had crazy amounts of money to throw away just because there was there i can see uses where i would u- use it but um mm. i just can't just justify that that sort of money um if, if it was under a thousand quid i think it would sell like mad i know people yeah. on like 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 snobs who are like um you know the, the people that just hate apple because that everything they make is expensive and therefore crap you know loads of things are expensive that in ferrari like why can't ferrari make a a, a, a 10 grand car you know it's just yeah. the idiots that buy ferraris well you mm. know people are into that stuff they'll pay it same 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 with apple um so a lot of those people are you know just kind of kind of, kind of turn their nose up to it but um if it was under a grand, the exact same device, I'm not saying like a cheaper version with lots of stuff yeah. cut out. If there was some way they could make it around, I think it would sell like mad. Um, because people, are, you know, p- people just like try it out and they would, they, I think you could see real world uses for it, like mm. the iPhone or the iPad. Um, a lot of people thought that was pointless. The iPad, they thought, oh, it's just a giant, it's just a giant phone. Who wants that? Look, look at that. It's like a, yeah. It's this, it's this taking so I, I remember when the the iPhone came out and I went to the pub and someone said, oh look I've got this iPhone look what it can do and he had some app so he looked like he was drinking a pint when he lifted it up and I was like oh right that's that's great isn't it yeah 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 and and I was like re- I was really not impressed I thought this is a load of rubbish yeah, and, you, yeah. you know I've had an iPhone now for like 10 years and you know, I, I probably wouldn't get a different a different phone. I'm 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 very impressed with it. So, it's you, you, you know potentially in five years' time. Once I, th- I think we've got to see this is 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 the test. This is the you know the the the, I mean, yeah, the beta I mean, the, version. This is like the it. minimum viable product, like the minimum viable product that's feature complete. Uh, uh, but but you know it's not perfect at this point. But we want to throw it out there because we we're going to make better ones. Yeah. A, 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 exactly. This is where you you know the the half a million people that are going to buy it. You know they're all going to feedback and oh this should be done like this or this would be better like that. Yeah. And and yeah. they're going to give vital information to Apple so that the one that that releases in a two years time or eighteen months time will be you know fifteen hundred pounds or fifteen hundred dollars yeah and it'll have a faster process it'll have this it'll have that and you go oh god oh, the old one looks looks so antiquated it looks like yeah. a ford yeah. model t or something yeah and yeah. and then and each one you get more and more sort of impressed with it and uh and in 20 really years you'll get it. in 20 years you'll get those articles of um well, when they announced it, it looked really. We all thought it was stupid and janky and, and really expensive, yeah. but now it's an everyday thing and everybody loves it. You know, it'd be like like we have for the iPhone, those sort of articles now. A, 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 you know, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. And people, you know, in the last few years, have it always annoys me where they they they, they look at the iPhone. Oh, what well, what's Apple done? They haven't, you know, the iPhone. They haven't, you know, revolutionized it. They haven't. Um, you know, put 45 cameras on the back and turned it into something is, well, actually now an iPhone, you know, you just need a faster processor, a bit, bit of a better battery. That's really what you, you can't keep on remaking something that inherently is, is sort of perfect as it is. You can make incremental improvements, but then Apple yeah. do come out with something that I, I think is, you know, truly, really sort of revolutionary, very expensive at the moment. But everything that comes out when it's the first one is is extremely expensive. You know, you look at flat screen TVs. I remember when they first came out, they were ten thousand pounds. Why do you spend ten thousand pounds on the TV when you could buy a, a CRT TV for one hundred forty nine ninety nine? Exactly, Doesn't make any yeah. sense. You know, there's, there's there's a bit of pain with these first iterations of things. Yeah. Um, but but yeah, it, uh, they, they'll, they'll be the, the early adopters will be there to sort of snap them up, and we don't care about that stuff about that, you know the, the first generation of something, and um, uh, and it will get better and cheaper. And I think ultimately we'll probably get to a point where they just look like a pair of glasses or are more powerful, and and that will be more of a, a thing that you'd just be quite happy just to put on, you know, uh, you won't you won't look feel like an idiot, you know, walking around with this huge uh, yeah. visor. Um, and I keep saying it's big. It is. It's, it's still incredibly. It's actually quite small. 
compared to mm. the amount of tech that it, that, uh, uh, that's in there. But yeah, I think it's a very cool device. Obviously, the price range makes it out of the reach of most people. I think a lot of businesses will jump on it um, uh, to help for you know the mate and certain people that you know who have businesses that do that will get to experience it. Uh, but yeah, obviously not something I would consider buying until it's you know um, it basically like a third of the price um, it would need to be. But it will get there. You know, a computer cost. You know, uh, the first Mac was like the equivalent of about twenty grand now or something, adjusted for for inflation. So, you know, things get cheaper and smaller and better. And you need that first one to come out to inspire, you know, the race to make it smaller, cheaper and better. So I'm happy for it to be out because of that. I think it's cool. Um, but yeah, not not necessarily a, a mass market device at this point in time. So maybe other people will come out with similar things that are cheaper and that will light a fire under everybody's ass to, you know, start making more that are cheaper and Google. I think, yeah, so. I think in the next six months, yeah, Samsung are going to come out with one. Yeah, um, yeah. So, I mean, that, that's usually the trend, isn't it? So. Yeah. Yeah. We need this to happen. Um, so, yeah, um, that's our little chat about that. And I think we've come to the end now. So, Stu, where can you find us on the interwebs? We are, we're all over the interwebs. So, we're on uh, the YouTubes. Search console shop. We're under uh, yeah. Uh, Twitter. Search console shop. Facebook. Search console shop. Um, and you can find us on any podcast client. So Apple Podcasts, uh, Stitcher, Spotify, um, plenty of different podcast clients. We are all over there. Well, thanks everybody for listening. Me and Stu are going to go off and troll people in the lost football grounds of the United Kingdom no, Facebook no, group. No. No, um, we don't do that, Trev. We don't do that. No. Yeah, we just have different agree. opinions. Um, <laughs> uh, thanks for listening, everybody, and we'll catch you in the next one. Take care. Take it easy. Bye-bye.